Ten minutes left. Oh, no. My pizza flips over in the oven as I'm trying to get it out. This pizza's ruined! Uh, we have no one to! OK, chefs, you can now come up and grab the key to your new home. I got six. I got five. Number one. And number eight. And number eight. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Because your time starts now. Uh, oh, shit. Move. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, let's see what's in our house, Delilah. Uh, AP flour. Chicken stock. What do we got? What do we got? We got some tomatoes. Oh, we have mayonnaise, awesome so, this, this. We should try to make the remoulade like from scratch. I have the perfect idea, okay? Chili dog. That is literally like the first thing that pops into my head because that's where we're from. Oh, look, corn tortillas. We can do a tostada. I think we should do the burger inspired by Ada's Cafe. But you need some meat? Okay, let me ask. Do you have either mangoes, game meat, or burger buns? That's all I got right there. I want to make video tacos. Yeah, I want to make video tacos too. We okay, have you have to go, go ask a neighbor. For what? Oh, uh, whatever we need. We want to make a taco because that just speaks our hometown. Go, Dela, hurry, the uh, time is... We need baking powder and hatch chili. Excuse me? Are you guys using the masa? That's the the What the heck is that? <laughs> Why don't you go look? Do you have ground meat? I have ground meat, but I am looking for, look. Can I, can I please taste that? that? Can this I please taste that? That's not OK, I, mean. I need dry chilies or beef chuck or... Do you have shrimp? I do have shrimp, but I might need it. I might need it, though. Yeah, beans? Uh, I don't think so. Yes, yes, I had it, I had it. What do you want to do? You want to do sausage, pepper, and onion pizza? Peppers and onions? Because that's popular in our town. Is that right? You can have that. You're good. I got it, I got it. You got to go find beans to grow. What do you need? Like, game meat? No. You want to get this rice cooking? I'm gonna go shop around for the beef. We immediately settle on a local moco because it is a Hawaiian dish that all locals know how to make. What are you looking for? We're looking for ground beef. Uh, I do not have ground beef. I know what I gotta get, but I'm hesitant because I don't like asking people for things. You got ground beef? You guys got extra ground beef? No! Jen, you guys got any ground beef? All right, extra? so ground beef, who needs? Yeah, I need a ground beef. Here, thank you. You're welcome. I got some elk. That is it, thank you. Potato, we can do loaded fries too. We can do chili cheese fries. Oh, I oh feel my like gosh. I'm home I home. know, it takes me right back home. Half of my life is now in Houston, but the first half of my life was in Detroit and we ate Coney Island hot dogs after school when he picked me up. Matt, have, please have these hot dogs. You have garlic? Wine? Fine, you can have the hot dogs. I need garlic though, who has garlic? Danny! Garlic over here. over, my dad and I always grow burgers. But this is a little bit interesting because we don't have half the ingredients we normally use. Back home when we make burgers, we always use moose meat, but in elk meat, it's the only game meat they have. When we flip them, I'm gonna oil it again. We never used elk. They cook very similar, but not so much as flavorful. So you grew up in Galvin, New Mexico, right? With all the Navajo Nation? Yeah, and Navajo tacos were very common. I grew up in New Mexico. It's actually a little town that's on the Arizona border, surrounded by reservations. And we even have Native American blood in us as well. So I thought it would just be a fun way to honor our Native American neighbors. It's gonna be a little spicy, all right? What are you making, Millen? We're making a coconut curry. Ooh, we're doing ground turkey burger. It's inspired by a cafe that I used to go to after school. And they're putting our own Indian flair to it because my mom's from India. It's important to reflect my mom's neighborhood in my dish because her neighborhood is just as important as mine. Were you guys given pizza dough? Huh? Yeah, I have pizza dough. Oh, can we have it? Yeah. yeah. Can you make sure you can get the, uh, the cheese, cheese back? back? Yes, yeah. totally, yeah. totally. Yeah. I'm going to take a handful of this and I'm going to give it back to Annika and Anu because it was theirs. We need all of it. It's theirs, though. Be a good neighbor, Mom. OK, I'm being a good neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> what else should I put in this? I think that's good, just keep it simple. All right. 
go to the hot line and put the dogs on. I'm going to boil them first in a little bit of that chicken broth for some additional richness and flavor. Okay. And then I'm gonna grill them off. I'm not talking about Coney Island, New York. In the city of Detroit, the signature dish is a Coney Island hot dog. You got an amazing grilled hot dog. You got beanless chili, mustard, and onions. Simple as that. We're keeping it straight Detroit. 28 minutes. Liz, what are you guys making? We're making a po' boy, which is like the classic sandwich of our neighborhood in New Orleans. Nice. Where we're from, there's a lot of street vendors always selling tacos on the weekend. Normally, all our meat is tenderizing over hours. So we need to get the beef in the pressure cooker. That will speed up the process. It is on, right? I don't know. I've never used a pressure cooker. I've never you? used a pressure cooker either, but we're going to assume it's on low. If that doesn't cook, we're screwed. This pizza dough is so annoying. Make it smaller. It's not rolling. This pizza dough is not good. The dough keeps on springing back, and the thicker the dough is, the harder it is going to be to cook all the way through. I need to start assembling this first pizza. And now, because we can't go to the pantry, we can't pivot. Ten minutes left. Oh, no. My pizza flips over in the oven as I'm trying to get it out. This pizza's ruined. Uh, we have no more dough. Eight minutes. How is it? Is it good? Let me see. Perfect. Oh, my god. Mom, this pizza's ruined. Well, uh, we have no more dough. Does anybody have pizza dough? Why would we have dough? I don't know. Oh my God. We're not gonna go out without pizza on those plates. We can cut these into three if we have to. I'm the mom. My role in life is to be the pivot person. We cut the pizzas and we get the job done. <sighs> Two minutes. Hot pan behind. Hold on. Oh. Hot. Oh. You got the green onion right there. You can put it on top of the gravy. Yeah. Next, next, next. Hurry, we got one minute. Oh my God. Hurry. Get everything on the plate. 22 seconds. Hey, this is not very pretty. I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you. Three, two, one. Time's up, hands <laughs> up. Hi, Khalil and Willie. Hello. We call it a tale of two cities. I was born in Detroit Let's and go. <laughs> lived half of my life there. We made a Coney dog, chili cheese fries, and cilantro and jalapeno. How did you get that incredible snap on the hot dog? We steamed it in chicken broth first. It was an art. That $10,000. What would you do with it? I would use it to start a pop-up restaurant. I love that. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hi. At elementary school, I used to go to Ava's Cafe, and people who work there are physically impaired people, so yes. it's oh. near and dear to my heart. Wow. I have a burger and potato chips with our own Indian flair to each of the elements. Flavor is banging. Kai and Liz. Being from New Orleans, you get po' boys in every single corner. There you go. Do what she does. You just get in there. We did a fried shrimp, a remoulade sauce, and a Vietnamese slaw with lime juice and fish sauce. Wow. Yeah. wow. Love that sauce. Thanks. Our community is very Italian. I'm not a big pizza maker, so I thought I'd go out of my comfort zone. In my opinion, not my proudest dish, but oh. <laughs> It's hard on yourself. I can relate. We're always our worst critic. Thank you. We love going to taco trucks, and our favorite tacos are Vedia tacos. We made some handmade tortillas to consume it, and a roasted garlic tomato oh, God. sauce. I've actually never had a taco like this. Love it. Thank you, Chef. Jack and Bobby, Hi. take us to your neighborhood. My mom grew up in New Mexico. So we have a Navo taco, so it's basically a sopapilla bread with some chorizo, some dry rub, and then avocado salsa. The fry bread, so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. In Alaska during the summer, we have our own garden, so whenever we eat burgers, we always have grilled vegetables on the side. So this is a burger with grilled veggies. But no moose, right? <laughs> no moose. Dang, I really wanted to have some moose today. No, there's no way we could have gotten it. No. All right. All right, Ocean. Whenever I think of my hometown, this is what always comes to mind for me. It's a locomoco. I used to live in Hawaii. I ate tons of locomoco. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's just that rice, the patty, an egg, and the brown gravy over top. And it's such a simple dish, but at the same time, such an amazing dish. Hello. 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 You come to our neighborhood. The one restaurant that's always stayed around is this place called Raku. This is a little riff off one of their classic dishes, coconut fish curry. 
What did you borrow from your neighbors? We had some halibut and we had some coconut milk, but the rest we really had to get from everyone around us. Thank you so much. Awesome. Naisha, which dish is gonna use a little more help? Eva and Jen. Your pizza had a ton of flavor, but your dough was undercooked and too thick. Kennedy and Rosie, gorgeous presentation, but it left my palate wanting more flavor. Ocean and Jadine, your local moco was heavily under seasoned and your patty was very dense. Naisha, which chefs showed that they were good neighbors today? Annika and Anu. Wow, I mean, you. your burger was absolutely explosive. It truly took my palate on a journey. Thank you. Khalil and Willie, yes. how truly imaginative to steam your hot dog in chicken stock. I mean, flavor on flavor. Thank you. Delilah and Danny, what a powerhouse of a plate. Amazing flavors, and the meat was cooked phenomenally. Yeah, I can't eat a taco any other way now. <laughs> the winners of this challenge truly showed us where they came from. Khalil and Willie.